Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at Ultimate Fishing Simulator. I'm going to show you how I got my first few levels. As you can see here, I've got the basic sort of start setup just for now to show you. Everything's how you will get it when you first come into the game. What I'm going to do is show you where I've fished to get my first couple of levels and then what I did after that. Nice little game this one. I've got it set on normal mode so I can so I like to look under the water where the fish are. I'm not gonna really cast out very far to start off with, but this is what I mean by you can look under the water. And what I like to do is jig my bait about with the um, striking button. Just tap it a little bit. I'm using the controller. I like to make my bait wobble about a little bit just to see if it brings anything in it normally it does what I'm going to do is I'm going to put cut in and I'll bring you back when the fish comes I might do a recast but we'll come back to the underwater view when the fish comes in oh just as I say that fish comes in as you see, I give it a little bit of time and then I bring it in. I'm pressing down on my control pad to lower my reel speed just to keep that line tension, which is the green sorry, which is the green bar. Which will change colours depending on how much tension there is. Drag. I'll press left and right on my D pad to change how much drag I'm gonna put on, which I've just added a little bit there. It's not doing too bad on the line, so I might add a little bit more and up the reel speed. Just see if we can get it in a bit quicker. Add some more reel speed. I think if I add one more, that's going to be full tension. The fish won't move, or well, the line won't go out, should I say? But it might slightly snap your line. And there you go. That's my first fish caught on basic starter bait. And now down here, it's a bit like fish, a uh, bit like uh, fishing planet, but not as grindy. Now what you can do down here is look. This is telling you all sorts of little bits. Now if I release it, I'm going to get plus one XP, or if I sell it, I'm going to get plus four dollars. At the minute, we just want XP, so we're just going to release this fish. I have to click it a couple of times just for it to realise. Yeah, we're just going to grind in XP for now. So I'm going to cast this back out and I'll bring in when I get another fish. Here we go, guys. We've got another fish snooping the back. Just get a couple of seconds. There we go. Change the view just so we can see. There we go. We'll start bringing it in again. This one's not playing up much for the fight, so we'll go in straight away. And you can see down here this is my XP bar so you just want to keep bringing these fish in and releasing them I'm not getting any XP I'm not quite sure I think that's extra XP though but I'm not quite sure why I'm not getting that maybe it's because it's a smaller fish than what I've already caught so we'll chuck that back in and it literally does chuck it back in <laughs> and we'll have another cast see what we can get this time go back underwater and I'm just going to do the same again I'm just going to let it sink as low as it's going to go and then I'm going to jig it about on the controller on the PlayStation 3, 4 controller sorry it is R2 I'm guessing it'll be the same on the Xbox controller and I think it's right mouse button on the mouse and keyboard so I'll leave you for now and I'll come back when we get another nibble so we've got another fish snooping about guys take it in a minute there we go you may notice that the line like twitches now that's when I take my cue to strike keep a close eye on the line when you're in that underwater mode fish is biting and it's just like a little twitch strike just after that if you don't notice it just count to like three three seconds that's not very long enough there we go a little bit of a pumpkin seed We'll release that to the wild. 
And this is what you just need to keep doing until you level up. And we'll have another cast. Recast that one. We'll have another cast that one more fish and then I'll show you with the stuff I've got at a minute at level three. Same again guys, just let it sink down and twitch your line. Not too hard though because you will pull it quite far if you do it too much. And I'll be back with you when we get another fish snoop in. Here we go guys, we've got another fish snoop in the back, another pumpkin seed. You see the line tweak out, grab it, and then just bring it in. These little fish don't pop much of the bite, well that's, I think that might be the smallest one I've caught. Alright, so that's the last one of the fish I'm going to show you with the starter setup. You just want to keep grinding it out, doing that until you reach your next level. Then when you come over here, look, click the actual gear that you've got set up and it'll open up the relevant shop tab for that sort of gear. And the second line I brought, I missed that one out. And then I've gone for this one here, I'm, I can't, Okina. TTUXI. I'm guessing that's Roman numerals, but I'm not too clued up on that. But the line itself is like you can even 3D view it. You can do this with your fish, anything. Back here, so we're going to go to that one. You want to click buy. Once you brought it, you want to click equipped. So you put it onto your setup for it. And it's $162, so once you've leveled up, level 3 and unlock this sort of stuff level 2 sorry you just want to start catching fish for money so you can then upgrade your gear something else as well we need to go over here now this one don't cost you any money as far as I know you're going to go pump your hook size up to number 2 you can do that at any time and you just want to equip so now we've got a size 2 hook on which is the biggest hook I've got of that Kubot E75 and that's the biggest size it goes up to so now we've got a size 2 hook on we've got nearly 4 pound line on and it seems we'll stay at the same spot so you want to just click down here click resume and it seems once you attach the better equipment get the bigger fish, like the bigger fish come for your stuff. This is what I noticed yesterday when I was playing the game anyway. I've been a bit of an awkward spot there. Let's recast that. So yeah, when I put the bigger hook on and the better line, the bigger fish seem to come. So yeah, we're still just going to do the same thing. Move it down there, you get about, give it a shake, and I'll bring you back in when we get some for the snooping. Here we go guys, we've got something coming in. Looks a little bit bigger than what we've been getting. See the line tweak then, grab it, and let's bring it in. Feels a bit bigger this one, put a bit more of a fight. Still got it though, and there we are. Look, we've got a hide, whatever they're called. Now you can choose what you want to do here yourself XP or cash. I'm going to go for the cash, which is probably worth doing now. We've got some uh, another level, so we'll get there. Cash, we'll sell it, and then we'll do the same again. Let's get it out there a little bit. It's C by the way on the keyboard to go into the camera mode, the underwater camera mode. And then we'll just keep popping the bait at that. I am fishing with a float on by the way. You can see that by coming back out with C and then Z. It's a bit small, you can change the size in the menu, but like I say, I do like this. I like to see the fish.
might make it a little bit easier, but I'm still learning to play the game myself. So yeah, I'll leave you with this and I'll come back when we get a little stupid fish. Here we go guys, we've got another one snooping back. Just took the bite. We've got him. Let's see to come back to this camera. Slow that real speed a little bit. And there we go. So that was two pound thirteen ounces. One point seventy two feet. Nice fish, and we're going to take the cash for that one again. I do believe you still get XP even when you release them, it's just like a little bit of a boost. I'm going to change spots now. I'm just going to nip around there, come around this rock, and then I'm going to fish just right there. I'm going to go for a full cast pretty much. Yeah, an obstacle. If you hold your rod up as well, you do get a better cast. But I want to fish just next to this rock. So there's the bait. Nice close to the bait that. Just gonna leave it here and I'm gonna bob it about and I'll bring you back in when we get by. go guys we're going to put the fish got him let's get it in tension up tension the uh, drag put the real speed up and we've got him only a small one I'll take the extra bit the cash though I was catching some nice trout around here yesterday I was hoping for some of that. We're going to do the same again, a bit further away from the rock this time. I'm just going to sit around here. Oh no, we've got no bait on. Right, so when you run out of bait, you want to come back here. You want to go to your baits. We're going to buy some more flies. Two dollars a go. I mean once. About twenty. Alright, are they equipped now? No, we don't want to click there, resume. Still not got no bait on. How do we equip? 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 There we go. So, yeah, you just want to click there and then click there to equip your bait. It's the first time I've done that. <laughs> By the way, float from bait, that's the length of uh, the float from the bait. So, I've changed mine to about halfway. You might want to do the same. Just click resume. Then cast over here again. We're going to aim up a little bit this time. Get a bit further out there. Look. And then switch back. Wait for the fish to come in. Got another fish snooping in, guys. Wait for it. There it is. Take the fish. Bring him in. Fight this one. See the bars going up like a disco. Put it up a bit more now. Speed up, and there we go. And that's another fishing, guys. And that's a nice one. So that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope it's helped you out a little bit. Just like I say, just keep fishing them little fish. Don't forget to change your hook sizes. I mean, you can eventually get enough XP to unlock the next lot of gear, start grinding the cash, 
get enough cash for what you need, buy what you want, and then start grinding again. And then eventually when you've got better gear, you'll be able to get up onto the next lake. Get some other big bigger fish on there. So thanks for watching everybody, I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a thumbs up, a comment, and if you're new here and you enjoyed it and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. See you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.